guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Juliana and today we're doing a misguided loungewear haul. I have been so excited to this video for literally weeks waiting for this package to come. I ordered it the very first week of September and we are already like basically at the end of September and it took this long to get here. I actually even ordered it with express shipping and it still managed to take that long. With online school, I was 100% sure I was gonna need more loungewear to wear this year and I was right because I had been sitting around in my jeans and my leggings and I've been wanting some sweatpants and joggers to get me through all the days writing notes, watching lectures, and reading things my teachers have posted. I've been looking at different stuff on Misguided for a very long time, and I never really made the plunge to make a purchase, but I decided that where things were so cheap and they had such great reviews on their loungewear that it was definitely the time for me to dig in and buy some stuff. I got eight or nine pieces that I think all actually fit together really well. My whole idea was to have like a bit of a mix and match collection that I could just, you know, rotate through day by day. And honestly, it wasn't really that expensive at all. They always have all these discounts running, like 50% here, 10% for students, 20% off this day, blah, 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 blah. So when you're ordering, definitely be sure to order getting as many discounts as humanly possible. I think my whole order of nine items came to like maybe 85 or 90 bucks. Although I did pay like $30 in fees when they arrived in Canada, so be super careful about that. I want to hop right into the video. I did already try on these items, so I know what to tell you guys about the fit and everything to do with how comfy they are, but I am going to film a separate try on portion and put this in here so you can see how the pieces look on me. I ordered all of these in a UK size 8, so roughly a US size 4, and I will talk with some of the little bit of sizing abnormalities I did run into with the brand. Also pretty cool, I have a petite, regular, and tall collection for every single item. I'm not sure how legit the sizing is all the things, and I'll explain that as I get more into the sizing I chose for different items. That being said, I want to get right into this, so let's just hop right into the video. And the very first thing I got is a black jogger and crop sweatshirt set. So the joggers I like, I wouldn't say I love. So they're... They are joggers and I should have expected that. I was expecting more of like a wide leg sweatpant, which I think honestly is what you see in the pictures on the website, but I got more of a tight jogger and that's okay. They're actually quite flattering, but they're just not exactly what I expected. So I'm 5'9 and they do fit me right above my ankle. I'd say this is probably the shortest the pants could be and still be comfortable on me. And I think these are considered the regular fit. I'm 5'9, I would not consider myself like a super tall girl. And this is supposedly the length they recommend on the regular sizing. So if you're any taller than me, you do have the option to get the taller one and you're shorter, you have the petite option. I think that I'm probably right on the cusp of what would fit with this, although I will say the model that the pants is shown on is also 5'9", and they fit her probably a little bit longer than they fit me, but that's not a big deal, the length is okay, and the fit of them is actually great as a size 4. Another thing I really like about them is they have this tight waistband. It's really stretchy, but it is tight, so it does kind of like you right in, which you know, it does kind of look flattering with loungewear. Sometimes you want something loose, but I do prefer something with a little bit of structure, so I do really like that about them. Now, the top is, again, very, very simple. It's just a black cropped sweatshirt. I like it a lot. The only thing I would say is it's not super soft. Same goes for the sweatpants. They don't have that fleece lining on the inside, so they're definitely not super soft, but they are really comfy. Yeah, I'm just trying to get some time Would you, would you spend a night with me? And I got that exact same set in gray too. I'm actually wearing the pants from it right now and then the sweatshirt is the exact same. There's not a whole lot different to say about those two pieces because they're literally the exact same as the black set. But I thought it'd be kind of cool to mix and match, you know, wear the black top with the gray pants and the gray top with the black pants because you look a little bit more put together, I think, when you have different colors on rather than wearing like a coordinated groat fit, I would say. If you don't know what a groat fit is, I'll put the definition here for you. I always find my boyfriend for this exact same thing. But I thought it'd be kind of fun to play with the colors and coordinate differently. Now I did get two more tops I think would be really cute with either of those sets. They actually came in a set which I thought was really neat. One of them is grey and then the other one is black and it looks basically the exact same. Um, they are so soft. I love the material of these two tops, but they show everything. Like, I'm not the kind of girl who wears a bra underneath my loungewear, and you can definitely see my nipples. It doesn't bother me. I'm probably not going to wear these out of the house very often, but they're definitely one of those materials where you can really see everything. They're not see-through, I wouldn't say, but you can definitely, you know, the gray might be a little bit see-through, but the black's definitely not see-through, but you can definitely see, like, you know, everything. These are the only thing from this whole haul that I would say that I probably could have sized down in. Um, it's just because they're a really, really stretchy, soft material, so they kind of leave, like, leave like a little tiny bit of gaping that I probably could have picked up wearing a size smaller. That being said, I'm going to get lots of wear of these, and I plan to alternate them with those other sets. Was that not? I'm just a lonely fuck to you. Now when I drive around, don't fill it up. 
Now the next top, I definitely feel like I could wear with the black sweatpants, but I actually bought as more of a summer top for next year. It is a racer back gray tank top. It's really soft too, really comfy. You're definitely gonna need a bra underneath this one because otherwise you're gonna see like what I would call a bit too much. Um, although no judgment if you're someone who likes to show that kind of stuff off. I really wanna wear this with like jean shorts or denim of some kind next summer. I think it'll just be a really cute pairing. I saw girls wearing these razor back tops all summer this year but I never had a chance to pick one up. I think that they can definitely be worn with the black sweatpants. It's just not quite as cute as the more cropped bralettes that I had in the other set. Break it, break it, break it, break it. I was present, hopeless, praying, 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 praying. Struck down at 20, plenty left to put behind you. You ain't peaked, death was peaking, not as speaking about you, leave it alone. Hope you're grinning while you watch your bros on some sofa sunny shit. Now, the next thing that's gonna fit quite as well with the pants I got, but I wanted to grab it anyway because I thought it was super cute, and it is this white long sleeve button up. I don't have all the buttons snapped for right now because I'm about to do a try on, so what's the point of buttoning it all up and then buttoning it all down? But I do think this top is really cute. The only thing is, you're definitely gonna need to wear something underneath this top. I mean, that's not really that abnormal with white tops tops but it's definitely very see-through i think it'll look cute with some kind of bralette underneath or perhaps just like some kind of top in general but it's definitely something i could wear without anything underneath what i kind of like with it is you do have the option to kind of dress it up i feel like if you put on some nice jewelry a pair of jeans um gold hoops something like that and i definitely something underneath i think a bralette would look really pretty um you could definitely have like an outfit you could wear out this is kind of like veering away from loungewear and more toward everyday casual wear and i think it's really really cute it's getting colder when the sun comes out Might just waste away, don't know what life about now the very last thing I got, which I have to say I think is probably the biggest sizing fail of this haul, is the top I'm actually wearing right now and I have very specifically chosen to wear this top during this part of the video and not any time when I'm standing up because it does not cover everything. It is quite the under boob moment and not in a good way, like we are hanging right below the nipples, it is not something I could wear outside for sure. I think it's definitely salvageable if you wear like a cute... Uh, sports bra underneath you could definitely get away with it, but it's not like head out of the house You're okay type thing. I will say though. This is a petite So it's not necessarily the brand's fault this went wrong But I did follow the size guide and it did say I would be this size So I thought I'd be okay But no, it's definitely for girls who are a lot smaller than me And I mean I don't have huge boobs. It's not my boobs that are the issue It's how cropped the top is this top is so cropped, but I just thought it was a cute color I love the peachy written across. It. I thought it was so cute. So I mean I didn't want to pass up on and I think it was only like six dollars so I'm not sad that I got it I'll definitely wear it around the house but it is not going to be a going out top I do want to do a quick shout out to misguided customer service. I did have some issues with my order getting here. It did take forever, as I said before. However, they did refund me my shipping after they realized it was gonna be so much longer than they had originally quoted me. And once I did get it, I've been really happy with this purchase. There are definitely some small sizing issues that I've mentioned in this video. And the clothing probably isn't the best quality, but it is definitely great loungewear. Be sitting around my house doing online school and I don't need to go above and beyond. I don't need to spend $90 on a pair of joggers from Aritzia. These are perfect fine. But anyway, you guys, I really hope that I showed you some options for lounge while you're sitting around your house. Go ahead and do some online shopping. Be sure to let me know what you picked out. I love getting your DMs over on Instagram and seeing your comments down below on my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like this video and most importantly, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. By the time this video goes out, we should be hovering right around a thousand subscribers and I cannot tell you guys how much that means to me. I am so, so appreciative of every single person who subscribes to my channel. Hitting a thousand subscribers has really been a dream of mine. I'm sure you guys know it was my goal for the 2020 year and it means so much to me that we still have more months left in this year for me to create content for you and to grow as a channel so thank you again for watching this video you guys mean so so much to me i hope you guys have an amazing week and i'll see you soon